The Sanagua people started to build in the Verde Valley around 1000 AD. Over time, the Pueblo reportedly grew to 110 rooms, including two-story and three-story structures. Sanagua, which means without water in Spanish, were farmers and artists. Sometime around 1450 AD, the Sanagua left the area. Some think it was because of overcrowding in the valley. Others believe they merged with other groups. The Pueblo remained empty until the early 1930s when archaeologists, funded by the WPA, rediscovered and began excavating the ruins. The site was given the name Tuzugu by one of its first excavators. Tuzugu means crooked water in Apache. The Pueblo officially became the Tuzugu National Monument when Franklin Delano Roosevelt designated the site on July 25, 1939. Tuzugut was built on a limestone and sandstone ridge just east of what is now Clarkdale, Arizona. It is just above the flood zone of the Verde Valley. The Hohokam and the northern Sanagua people also lived in the valley and greatly influenced the Sanagua. The Hohokam were well known as excellent farmers and built irrigation canals to support their communities. Around the time the Sanagua were settling the Verde Valley, two other well-known pueblos, Montezuma's Castle and Montezuma Well, were becoming inhabited. Due to similarities in construction methods, many historians believe that these groups knew each other quite well and shared skills and information. There were established trails between the varying groups, which also allowed for trade and united defense. a few interesting facts that I learned in my research. During the excavation, 429 sets of human remains were discovered, mostly found buried in the hillside with a few personal remains. Rather than doors to the rooms, most of the entrances were by means of hatchways through the roof.
The interior walls of all the rooms were covered with a red-colored mud or plaster. It was a little more than an inch thick.